All right, welcome back. Today we're going to talk a little bit about fencing. So for those who are unaware, we only have one current available fence option to us, even though there's a lot of others in the game. I believe the developers have stated they have an interest in adding more fencing down the road. Great. Break, uh, walls, etc. Awesome. Today I'm going to show you the two ways I have figured out how to build these the best. First off, if you are unaware, as soon as you place construction, the inside of the fence, if it were, is to your right. So if I turn this a little bit, you can see the ghost image, the, I don't know what they're called, purlings? The bracing that runs horizontal to the ground is on the inside, and that's on the right-hand side when you start it, as soon as you hit it. If you hit G, instead of rotating it, it rotates it at bigger angles. So, small increments with your mouse wheel, G gives you bigger increments with your mouse wheel. But what the problem is, is getting them to where they're not overlapped because it's kind of a pain. So the way I found to do it, you place your fence down. I'm going to rebuild your fence just like you normally do. And then there'll be two options we can utilize to get our fence piece. Since they don't snap, which I wish they did snap, one option, if you are going this direction, meaning the inside is towards your right, you're going to climb up on the fence. You're going to get about there, give or take. We're going to place the fence. Now, we're going to get it in line straight with it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my mouse back towards it. You see how it just went red a little bit? And now it's white a little bit. Now it's red a little bit. There it is right there. So this gives us the closest we can get to being a contiguous fence without having a snap option. And you see how it placed it. I would consider that to be pretty darn straight. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn straight. What if you are the opposite direction? So now I'm this way, and the problem is, <clears throat> when I place this fence out, the inside is now on this side over here. And if I want to place this way, it doesn't let me because I'm standing in the way. So if you have your insight on that side over there, and you're trying to place your fence up against this, so I'm going to find the straight line. And instead of using my mouse, because you can see how the mouse is kind of dodgy, I'm going to get straight, and then I'm going to nudge W forward. Because that will keep me pretty straight in the line. about to do it. As soon as you see that stick go up, it's about to hit. Okay, now it's red. Back it off just a little bit. And I'm using my uh, WASD keys to get this just as perfect as I can. So now if I click it right there, we'll build this fence. It is backwards from the other, but this is to show you the other way to get it as straight as possible when you're going end to end. So now if we look at this, that is pretty damn straight. Minus the fact that it's backwards, it is pretty straight. And that is how, man, that's, uh, honestly, I did a real good job with that. That's how you can get reasonably straight lines without having the snap using the WASD keys if you're going this direction. Set it up, ver you use your mouse to get it in a straight line, then W and S and your side to get it as straight as you can. If you're going the other direction, obviously these are backwards, then you're going to stand on top of it, get it to where it's in line as best you can. Red. You can use WASD, but the mouse works pretty well on this one, and set it like that. And that's how you can get pretty decent fences. Thanks for watching.